welcome to the spiritual trail so today i'm going to get a collective message for the sign of capricorn it could be sun moon or rising um, and this is going to be from october to december 2022 so I've already pulled the um, Oracle cards, and then we're going to go ahead and get into the tarot. So we do have this Moonology card that says adjustments are required. So there's some energy going into, like from now, October, we are on October, what is today, the 10th. Um, so for October, maybe into November, there's some kind of adjustment that needs to be required in some aspect of your life. So only you can tell that. Everybody's going to resonate differently with this. It could be career. It could be your uh, job. It could be your home life. It could be a relationship. Um, or just even how you are looking at a situation. There's some kind of adjustment that needs to be, uh, uh, some kind of a, adjustment needs to be required here um, to, to see things. So you might have to look at things differently. You might have to do something differently. You might have to step out of your box. And I know the Capricorns that I know are always, you know, they have to have a plan. They have to dot their T's, I mean, dot their I's and, and cross their T's just right. You know, everything's got to be planned out. And sometimes it's best to let that go and just go with the flow. Um, because, you know, that's only going to kind of stress you out and possibly stress others out too, because not everybody is so, um, rigid about having a plan and having things go exactly this way. Right. So, all right. Then we have the great big love. So this I feel is like universal love, but this is also coming from a place of an open heart and forgiveness. Um, so you have to be understanding and loving, even if other people have a different opinions than you or, or uh, don't want to go along with a certain kind of rigid plan, you have to be open to that. You know, you got to be open to everybody's differently and not stress out about it and not try to demand that your way, your way is best or whatever. Um, then we have the Thrive card. So this Thrive card means that something can be really successful and thrive here, but there has to be some kind of adjustment and open heartedness and, and you know, um, you know, this, um, open, uh, compassionate, you know, love and understanding and, and, and allowing people to be themselves. And then there is this elk who's your spirit animal and it's about nobility. So standing in that integrity and grace and not lowering your vibration or being hostile to somebody or criticizing somebody because they have a different plan or different opinion with you. There's some kind of balance that needs to come out here and a little bit of, uh, uh, letting go and following the flow. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get the current energy. We're going to go ahead and get the current energy for you, um, Capricorn. So let's see what energy is surrounding you or within you at this time with this going on or coming up. Okay. Let's see what the current energy is. Okay. All right. So we have the Page of Wands. Okay. So there's some, some kind of uh, inspiration, inspired passion towards uh maybe possibly a goal or creativity uh spirituality there's some kind of uh you're getting inspired and i feel like with that excitement here you're trying to plan it out exactly and that's not how like the law of attraction and stuff works we can't we can have intentions set out but we have to be accepting of how things come in we can't always like have it go our way there's you know that's the ego mind taking over so we have to be careful of that then we have the magician. So the magician's all about that manifesting. So like I said, I really do feel like there's something that you're inspired to manifest here and you're kind of trying to control it too much and plan it out too much. And it's, um, you know, uh, that's not how the universe works, like I said, or divine timing or anything. Now we have the four of wands. So this is celebration and stability. So, um, you know, that is, that's good news. So maybe something has manifested for you. Um, something that you are taking action on, it's going your way. But there is some kind of um, energy here where there's somebody's kind of being too rigid or stubborn. So let's go ahead and see what's on the bottom. Yeah, Six of Swords. So this is moving away from that turbulence. So I feel like this is kind of like stressing you out almost or keeping you in a stressed or anxious state and this is something that's uh, either you're going to be moving away from or someone else is it's saying i really feel like what the universe is saying here so you need to move away from this kind of energy where you're being so fixed on having something done and i know you are an earth sign and need to fix but it's better to go with the flow i feel like you would have more abundance coming in if you kind of just let it happen um not saying you don't work on it you do work on it you just can't like plan it out so rigidly that's what i'm saying saying here all right so we're going to go ahead and see what's um coming in what's coming in for you so this could be you know towards the end of no october going into november uh mid-november end of november let's see what's coming in or all the way up to december honestly 
Okay, well, look at this. Now we have the Page of Swords. Again, some kind of inspiration but, but and new beginning. But I do feel like this is more like you get that clarity that you need that, you know, you can't control things so much that you kind of got to let things go as they are. Hermit's on the bottom. So this is like going within and really figuring that out, taking that time to figure things out. It also could be a Virgo. Yeah, there's some kind of um, betrayal here too. So coming in, there could be some kind of betrayal and maybe that's why you tap more into your... Um, uh, logical sense here and get inspired by something um, that your thought process here um, so there's some kind of betrayal coming in and I feel like it's still something to do about this rigid plan but you know be careful with that that's what's coming in and again I say so the hermit on the bottom yeah and then what it does um, you have this inspired idea you get betrayed some way in some capacity there's some kind of betrayal here um, it also could be vice versa, you being so rigid and demanding certain things and having something so you have to go a certain way. Um, if this is a relationship, I feel like you might be so controlling to the point of uh, pushing this person away and it could end up being like some kind of betrayal here. They might be feel, feel betrayed, you might feel betrayed because they walk away. Um, there is some kind of choice after that that has to be made. Some kind of decision has to be made coming in. Okay, of course, this is energy, so it can always be changed. That's the thing. So let's go ahead and see what's coming up um, that you need to be aware of here. What do you need to be aware of? All right, so let's see what you need to be aware of. I'm missing like a tarot deck, I think. No, I got it over there. Okay, what do you need to be aware of for October, November, and December for Capricorn, please? What do we need to be aware of? Okay, so Knight of Cups. So this could be someone very romantic, wears their heart on their sleeve, you know, likes the beautiful things in life. This also could be, but usually that's reversed, but this also could be somebody that's a little bit of a player. Um, so I do feel like what it's saying here to be aware of is watch how you um, show your emotions. Uh, you know, it's good to be romantic and emotional and sensitive and things like that. But um, it, it can point to the point, it can come to the point of... Um, pushing somebody away depending on how much how much you throw out there or if you allow it to go into jealousy or anything like that so be careful with that it also could be for some of you to watch with this portrayal also coming in to be careful because um somebody could be a player here or playing with your emotions okay so let's see what else what else to be aware of? Because if it's a being aware, I don't think you need to be aware of somebody very romantic. Unless it's somebody that you're not really interested in as well. And they get, like develop feelings for you. Just kind of be aware of um, that. With, like how you put things out there. Like how you explain things. Or, you know, if you're leading somebody on or something like that. Just be careful with that kind of stuff. All right. Then we have... Page, another page. You definitely have a lot of new beginnings here in some aspect. We've got almost, we got three pages and this is also messages coming in. So I do feel like you are getting messages and that might be why too you had this hermit on the bottom because you know, you need to be still and quiet and get, go off to yourself, meditate and things like that because you are getting a lot of messages from spirit. Um, and it could be about unconditional love, about love of self. So the page of wands now is um, getting inspired on something like your creative, whatever you're creative about, your passion about. And, um, you know, it could be, again, something to do with this Knight of Cups. It could be a person coming into your life. Be aware that there could be a person coming up in your life. Yeah, we got two here. What are these? Yeah. Well, you know, conflict is going away. So that's good. As well as the Eight of Pentacles is, you know... Eight of Pentacles, when it's upright, is all about our skills, developing skills. So you could be like not learning a skill that you need to. So be careful with that. There could be some uh, energy here if this is a relationship that you're not really working on. Um, and, you know, that's something like with relationships, we do need to work on them. So I do feel like if there's something going on in your life, like maybe work or a creative project you're working on, what it means is that you could be um, not working on this relationship right so be careful with that because like i said we did have this upcoming betrayal and sometimes when people feel ignored or that you're not they're not being uh wooed or or taken advantage of it could be them leading off to something else what's on the bottom yeah two of swords see you might be missing it honestly 
You might be missing or ignoring somebody completely because you're throwing yourself into this a project or work or something. All right, so now we are going to go ahead and get um, some clarity on these. Let's go ahead and get some clarity. So this pattern, you had Page of Wands twice too, by the way. So there's some kind of inspired passion. Um, so if you're throwing your passion into and your inspiration into a creative project or work and kind of ignoring this relationship, I feel like there's going to be trouble in paradise. But what, what is the coming up with this inspired passion, man, uh, manifesting something and celebrating? We have the Queen of Cups. So again, listen to your intuition. Also coming from that compassionate place in your heart, being kind. So, um, you know, if you are possibly having a partner in your life that is wanting attention, but you're throwing it all into work and, you know, saying, hey, we're doing, I'm doing this for us. That doesn't mean that they don't want the attention. So be aware of how that's affecting the people you love. Make sure you spend some quality time with them as well. Okay. Um, again, this looks like you're planning for the future, like waiting for your ships to come in, but you might be putting people in your life on hold and you are like that sign that's a workaholic. So I could see that maybe happening. So be careful with, um, your work, throwing yourself into the work that you don't ignore the people in your life. Okay. So now we have this page of swords, the 10 of swords and the, um, two of wands. So, you know, some kind of decision that you have to make. So I feel like some of you are going to have like this ultimatum, like, you know, you either cut back on work or, or, or stop working so much or put the project on hold and, and, and spend time in our relationship or I'm out of here. So that might be like, you might feel like you're being betrayed. They might feel like being betrayed, but there's something with that. And there needs to be some kind of clarity that comes in with this page of swords. Okay. Some new beginning of understanding here. All right, so let's go ahead and see. Yeah, Ace of Cups on the bottom again. So this is that place of unconditional love, love of self, love of others. Okay, so now, yeah, see? Turning your back on something here. And you might feel like you're missing an opportunity if you don't continue with this uh, working all the time, hard work on your manifestation or work. And you might feel betrayed because they're trying to pull you away from it because they want attention. But see, this is something that you need to tap into your higher self. This could also be a Taurus involved. But there's some kind of energy where you're feeling pulled in different directions here. Uh, yeah, see, it's a relationship. Yeah. So there's some kind of harmonious relationship that is actually getting tore apart because you're throwing yourself into too much work here. So, all right. So we're going to get some clarity on this page of wands against inspired action. Uh, Knight of Cups, the co uh, conflict card remove, reverse, which is the Five of Wands, as well as the Eight of Pentacles. And what I'm getting from this card, I feel like this relationship once was your passion. And now you've kind of like, now that it's established and maybe it's been years into it or whatever. Now you're throwing yourself into some kind of uh, creative process or work where you want to manifest like a, a good future for you guys. But the thing is, they're feeling kind of betrayed. And then you might be feeling betrayed because they're trying to pull you away from it. Because this is like a lover's and it's also somebody that's very sensitive, wears their heart on their sleeve. And they feel like you're not working on this uh, relationship anymore. Um, because now they're not the uh, passion in your life this project or work is. Um, and sometimes, see this conflict? You, you think that it would be upright if there's problems of trouble in paradise. But what it is, is I feel like there's already been conflict with that. But once... You ever notice like if you are in a relationship and there's arguments, fights, 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 and then somebody just stops arguing, that means they're about almost sometimes ready to check out. So be careful of that. All right. All right. So let's go. Yeah, we got that two of swords. Um, let me go ahead. I forgot. I didn't get a clarifier on this one. So let's see what's coming up with that. Mm-hmm. Now it's coming up right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, now the one's five, five of wands reversed. I'm sorry, five of swords, conflict. So yeah, they're not competing for your attention anymore. Um, this is the conflict card. So this person who's very sensitive, you used to be, uh, they used to be your passion. Now they feel like you're not working on it at all. And what's happening is there's, they're not even competing with it anymore. They're going to give up sometime between, you know, November, December, they're going to give up on trying to compete for your attention. They just think it's too much complex. It's giving them a headache. They might be moving on. So be careful with that. Okay. Yeah. Two of cups. Yes. See? Yeah. So the two of cups is about a relationship again, right? So, 
And on, we had the lovers. This is about a relationship too, but it also can be about a choice. So I feel like somebody's about, you know, going to be making a choice here. And it's almost like you need to make a choice. Like, do you want to spend uh, equal time with the relationship and the creative project? Try to figure out some way you can balance both out. Um, do you want to let the relationship go? Do you want to put the project on hold? It's, you know, it's got to be some kind of balance here. Okay. So let's go ahead and get, um, let's look at the bottom of these cards here. Bearing fruit. Yeah. See, bearing fruit means something is coming to fruition. So I feel like you really are feeling like you're really close to manifesting something here and you're kind of pushing this relationship to the side, but the first person is feeling neglected. Then we have the end of a tough cycle approaches. So something is going to be giving some kind of tough cycle. It can go in different ways though. That's the thing. And then we have some kind of enlightenment coming in. So I feel like you will be getting enlightened or this person might as well. And then we have deer, which is about love. So I do feel like you're going to find a way to balance that out um, and choose like the, the partner. Um, I would say like maybe try to get them to compromise a little bit and maybe you too as well since they're feeling neglected but let's go ahead and just see if we can get i already got advice from spirit but let's see if we can get a little bit more for you okay okay ace of cups yes yeah, coming from that place of compassion of course you got to fill your own cup but this is also being compassionate and uh, have that unconditional love for people in your life too. Eight of Cups, it might be time to walk away from disappointments. So only you know if this is worth fighting for. Um, this is walking away from emotional disappointments. Hanging man, seeing things in a different perspective. Uh, you know, higher view, like that eagle eye view. As well as four of pentacles okay so four of pentacles can be like a little bit stingy card this is like holding everything in so if you are kind of holding everything in because you feel this conflict with this person it might be time to open up open up and really explain things in a unconditional love kind of way you know not harsh not critical not uh defensive you know very uh opened opened up okay yeah, see, because it's going to lead to some kind of three of swords here. So I feel like both of you feel like your heart's broken, but there's some kind of misunderstanding here. So let's get one more card from Spirit. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. So it might be time to maybe, you know, do things solo for a while. I mean, everybody has their own way of deciding. This could be a Cancer as well. This is motivation and willpower, um, you know. You know, everybody has their own free will to do what they want. So only you guys can decide what's best for you right now. But I do see like some kind of, uh, you know, overworking and somebody's feeling neglected here. And, you know, it's causing problems in the relationship. But anyway, that is your message. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye.